Hi everyone, it's me, the Broke Stacker. Today I found myself at the local coin shop, my personal local coin shop, and had me thinking of a good video to do for you guys today. So we're going to cover 90% and for junk silver or constitutional silver. Uh, when this is referenced, this is U.S. coinage minted from 1964 and prior. 65 and up, they were made out of clad, not precious metals. So these guys, each one of them is 90% silver. You'll hear that quite a bit. And some people are always trying to figure out, well, how do, what's the best way for me to calculate how many troy ounces of silver are in my junk silver? And the easiest explanation I can give to you guys, and the easiest little ratio is going to save you in the long run, just kind of a rough number, is $1.4, so $1.40 face equals one troy ounce. So another thing, when you usually purchase this stuff, they say uh, whatever amount by times face. So like today, I went over to my local coin shop, silver spot was $22.79 an ounce, uh, that's troy ounces, and I got a piece dollar at $21.50. Woohoo! Go me. That's the cheapest piece dollar I've ever bought. And it's a 27. It's uh, the last year that I needed to complete my collection of all the years of piece dollars. So cool. And my just random variety here that I pan picked, hand selected, the least amount of wear I could find uh, for your 90% silver, I was paying $17.59 an ounce. So or a face seven so that's the difference here it's where a lot of people get confused so this was purchased at 17.59 per face but a dollar a face it only really comes out to about 0.77 ounces so piece dollar or 10 dimes is about 0.77 ounces so that's why when we calculate how many ounces are we getting troy ounces for our constitutional silver we have the equal it to a dollar forty. So yeah, that's 0.77, but if we add four dimes to it, that comes out to one ounce. And I'm gonna show you exactly how that works right now. So we have our scale here. Sorry if you can't read it, I will read the numbers out for you though. So we got a piece dollar and one, two, three, four dimes, right? Four dimes and a piece dollar. We have this set to ounces troy and is coming out to 1.17. Now that's more than an ounce, right? But remember, this is 90%. It's 10% copper, 90% silver. To calculate the silver that is in this, we just need to do this. 1.17, that's what we're weighing at, at $1.40, right? Multiplied by 0 0.9, that's, that's the equal 90%. Comes out to 1.053. So that's kind of heavy. That's a little bit more than an ounce, so that's fair to say that dollar forty is a full ounce of silver. And now you might be wondering yourself, "Oh, that's a that's a little bit higher." That's what about my uh, 0 .05 uh, troy ounces there? Well, here's the other uh, kickoff to that. So we got some more heavily worn items. This is a barber half, right? So we got a couple barber halves. Um, this is a stand, uh, standing Liberty quarter. And we'll, we'll just put two on there. So that equals a dollar fifty, right, guys? So we're gonna put that dollar fifty of more heavily circulated ninety percent silver. Instead of one point one seven, this is now one point one two. This is more heavily worn. This is not quite slicks, but they are more heavily worn. So let's see here: one point one two multiplied by one point. I'm sorry, multiplied by point nine. That's ninety percent of. 1.12 troy ounces equals 1.008. So there you go, there you have it. I think that's why we go to that number of 1.4, $1.40 a face equals one troy ounce because that attributes and calculates in the heavy wear and tear on our constitutional. That's another, that's the only downside of our coinage being 90% silver back in the day. It did wear out and as you saw, that was 1.17 uh, ounces. This is 1.12 ounces of more heavily worn out coinage. So that being said, that's one downside of having our coinage in silver. They do wear and tear over time. Physically takes out the value of it. And it just kind of evaporates. So 
that's the best advice I can give for you guys on your 90% American constitutional silver. Multiply by 0.9, that's your 90%, and basically a dollar forty will give you one ounce of silver. So today I purchased six dollars a face. If you don't believe me, we got a dollar of dimes. All right, we have one, two, three, four quarters. That's two dollars. We have another two dollars in Walking Liberty halves. Dollar of barber and a piece dollar. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six dollars face. Right. So six dollars face divided by 1.4 this is the other way to do it we're reverse engineering the math equals 4.28 ounces now you might be asking yourself is that a good deal on constitutional now a lot of people are always gonna um say oh yeah 18 17 times face that's great it's a great deal but we have two point i'm sorry 4.28 ounces of silver here right so and the total I paid today was 109.45. That was after tax. So 109.45 divided by 4.28 equals. I paid $25.57 an ounce for my silver today. Now you might be thinking that's a fair price. You might be thinking it's a little steep because right now, remember, our spot was 22.79 so we have that amount we got the equals minus 22.79 equals so i paid almost three dollars over spot now for regular bullion coins that is it's about what you're paying nowadays a dollar to three dollars over spot depending on the premium you're paying this is the premium i paid today was Two seventy-eight, uh, uh, two dollars and seventy-eight cents over spot per ounce. But I will remind you this: this isn't just silver. This is and basically antique coinage. Each one of these has a possibility of being a, worth a little bit more on the red book and slash gray sheets. Also, it's fractional. So as far as buying fractional silver goes, and you just don't want to, you know, have a big old lump ten ounce bar or a one ounce coin at a time you want to buy just a loaf of bread here you go here's your here's your one mercury dime that's a fair trade for a loaf of bread if you ask me or two whatever depends on the size of the loaf of bread i guess so fractional silver usually comes with a higher premium as you guys have all uh, been made well aware of in my previous videos so as far as fractional silver goes constitutional silver is the way to go and remember one dollar and 40 cents equals an ounce or if it's really heavily worn it's really about a dollar fifty but the golden rule is a dollar forty constitutional equals one troy ounce of silver i hope this video helps you guys out today uh, i hope to catch you on the next one I'm, again we're just trying to educate not financial advisors but just trying to educate people on the finer points of U.S. constitutional silver and other coinage. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time. Until then, keep stacking. Stack them high.